Hi, I'm Carolyn Ibero from mining.com.au and joining me today is Kingfisher Mining's Executive Director and CEO, James Farrell. Hi, James. Hi, how are you? It's great to be with you. Thanks for joining us. So fresh results from early stage exploration at your Chalby Chalby prospect in Western Australia's Gascoyne region. What's been returned? Yes, that's right. Uh, these are the second round of results. So. Um, we've got lithium up to 0.6 of a percent in rock chips. So Chubby Chubby is one of three areas that we're looking at for pegmatite mineralisation. We've identified 11,000 metres of outcropping pegmatites here. So look, it's advancing nicely. And, and what we saw as well with that, that initial result is we're starting to see grade continuity for lithium across these pegmatites. So very positive steps for a very early stage project. Tell us about the overall prospectivity of the area for lithium and who are your neighbours in the region? Yes, well, Chowby Chowby is one area that's it's about 3.3 by 3 kilometres, so about 1% of our uh, tenement holding. It is a long strike around a granite contact from uh, Minerals 260's Pyramid Hill, and Minerals 260 announced a 5 kilometre long lithium soil anomaly at Pyramid Hill last week. So. You know, that, that's sort of suggesting there might be some scale to this area that we're looking at. Uh, the geology of the pegmatites, it's the 33 sweet pegmatites. And they're the pegmatites that host um, Delta Lithium's uh, Melinda project, which is about 40, 45 kilometres to our north. So it is an area that where there's a lot of activity uh, for lithium, we think it's pretty prospective and, you know, the evidence is there with a project like Melinda that's advancing rapidly. So how much more work is planned before drilling can start? Uh, yes, well, the next step uh, from here is to get on ground and uh, do a soil geochemistry program. So that's planned and that's happening at the moment. Um, so really, we think that together with a little, little bit more on ground mapping, we should have those uh, drill targets defined and ready to go. So that should be something we have some news out on in the coming uh, months as we progress towards drilling. And meanwhile, you're also targeting large scale carbonatite intrusions along the Chalba target corridor. What have you seen to date and what work is planned for the coming months here? Well, yes. Uh, so the Chalba corridor is um, extensive. It, it runs for 54 kilometres. So our main focus there has been the Mickwell area where we've discovered high-grade hard rock rare earths as well as uh, clay uh, rare earth mineralisation as well. So the Mickwell area itself is about seven by four kilometres. It's a giant oval shape, basically. So it looks very, very much like, you know, all of the carbonatite system. And that area remains a focus and, and we do expect to see uh, additional rare earth results coming out from that area in the coming uh, weeks to months. Um, and also we're looking at um, the lockier zone. So we've got a fairly uh, decent strike length of that target corridor as well, 30 kilometres. And within that zone is our uh, LK1 target. So work's progressing there. Um, we've recently completed a gravity survey there, which we're waiting on the results for. Uh, and we'll soon be having a um, surface geochemistry program get underway there as well. So that's really all about defining those, um, those drill targets under the shallow cover that is across that area. James Farrell, Executive Director and CEO of Kingfisher Mining. Great to chat with you today. Thanks for your time. Thank you for talking. Uh, it was great to speak with you.